Hey guys, this is Sam and Aaron with Touch Me. Uh, we previously did a video for the latest release of BlueStacks, which is in beta right now. Uh, we've been following the company for quite some time now, even before the alpha release came out. We've been really excited about it. Uh, BlueStacks allows you to play Android apps inside of Windows. Uh, of course, naturally for us, we're multi-touch integrators. Uh, that's pretty huge for us. So. Uh, we wanted to do a real quick video. Uh, we did kind of a low quality video before of the beta, and we wanted to do a little bit higher quality, so we just wanted to show you uh, what it's capable of, and uh, just to show you, this is our 100 inch multi-touch display. It's rear projected, um, and we just wanted to run through a couple of the things that we liked about the latest release, and a couple of things that we'd like to see maybe change a little bit uh, as the Thing, you know, as BlueStacks progresses into the final release. Um, the BlueStacks team is actually really good about listening to the customer's needs and wants and everything. They're pretty quick to respond and so far from what we've seen between the alpha and the beta release, they've answered a lot of the questions by integrating some really cool features. So just to get it started off, when you install BlueStacks, uh, you get a gadget up here at the top of your screen that allows you to access many of the features within the BlueStacks. Uh, for instance, this first button here, these are the apps that we currently have installed uh, with our installation. Uh, this next button here is suggested apps. You know, it basically looks at the apps that you have currently installed and it gives you suggestions for other apps that you may want to look at. Uh, you click on one of those, the BlueStacks windows will open up and then it will start downloading that application for you. Um, this other button here are the Android stores that you have available to you. If you pull that up and you, you can search for apps and it will download and start playing them for you. Uh, this last button here, uh, that's Cloud Connect. Um, for anybody who is familiar with the original alpha version, Cloud Connect allows you to put an application on your Android device, or your phone, or your pad, or whatever you have and it lets you sync those two devices together to the BlueStacks version that you have on Windows and it allows you to share applications that you have on that device over here to BlueStacks. But I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But by clicking that, what that did was it opened up the BlueStacks interface. We, are, we currently have ours in full screen mode to you know, show you, uh, you know, give you a nice big view of what, what can be done here. Uh, let's get into a couple things that we really like about the improvements between Alpha and Beta. Um, they've taken, obviously they've taken some time to rework the graphics engine. Um, things are a lot more smooth now. Uh, they tend to be a little quicker loading and the scaling, rotating and stuff within these applications uh, works a lot smoother and a lot better. A perfect example of that was the Google Maps. Uh, in the alpha version, uh, when navigating around in the Google Maps, uh, whenever we would try to scale and rotate a map, it was very glitchy, it was, very, it was just about unusable. Um, however, in the newest version, let's go ahead and open up Maps. Um, we can basically move the maps around, we can scale, and it scales pretty quickly. To let the internet load the, the map up, but it's very, very, very easy to move around as if you were using a typical Android device. Um, it's, you know, it works really well. Scaling, rotating, moving in and out, you know, it's, it's very, very, very responsive. So that is a very nice welcome change to the latest uh, version here. So let me go ahead and just scoot back now we are on the big screen and big screens kind of definitely give you some exercise. Another good example of, of what we were talking about is Pulse. Uh, Pulse is a news reader. You can add a different RSS feeds to it. Um, we like the implementation within Android and it works wonderfully on a large multi-touch format like this. Yeah, I can scale, I can scale through you know, my different news feeds and stuff, bring it up, you know, just read through it. I can flick over to the next page. Very, very smooth. Really great reaction times. And it just, everything that's basically that we found 
in an Android application that is multi-touch also works in our multi-touch design as well. Go ahead and move back. Um, we think that due to the engine being upgraded, the graphics engine, uh, another big huge plus for this latest beta is that a lot of the applications that we couldn't use before, uh, we can now use in this latest release. We'll give you a perfect example. Um, here's Fruit Ninja. I'm not going to really seriously play, but I'm just going to show you guys uh, you know, what we mean. I don't really want it loading faint, so I'm just going to hit the back button and it should go into the game. Okay, so there's the game. So, just like any other Android device, can you play it? Okay, let's just do a classic one. You can see everything's working really smoothly. We're not getting any slowdowns or anything like that. Again, like I said, I'm not really seriously playing anything, but it's very, very responsive. Um, so if you're working on a touch display or anything of that sort, it's, you know, uh, extremely responsive. We like so far what we're seeing with that. Um, basically, if it's that good in this setup, now we can just imagine what it's going to be like when the final release comes around. Uh, we've also got stuff like, you know, TuneIn Radio and, and YouTube and everything like that. Um, of course, Angry Birds Space, I, I, you know, I couldn't imagine us not having that on there. Uh, videos load extremely well. It's just, we have to wait for our internet connection. So if I want to do a search, I can use the Android keyboard down here, or Windows also has the touching keyboard built in, and it works with either one. So, you know. Some of our videos here. And it loads the video just like any normal Android device would load. Of course, we're kind of waiting for our internet connection, but that's not a testament to BlueStacks. That's just our internet connection. So I don't feel like waiting for that thing to load. So we'll just get out. And now we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that we'd like to see change in BlueStacks, OK? First of all, um, if you noticed before, let's go back to Pulse. Get Pulse to load up. We've got Pulse loaded up, and two big things that we would love to see fixed. In the alpha version of BlueStacks, um, when you went into full screen mode, it really went into full screen mode. It, it took up the entire real estate of the screen here. But in the current version's uh, full screen mode, it's in a Windows mode where you get to see, you know, you close the window, you still see your start, your start icon in the bottom, everything like that. We would really like for it to be able to take the entire screen. So that's one thing. I'm sure they can implement that or give us that feature back. Um, and then the other one, uh, here, in any application that you launch, you see what's called the suggested apps. Uh, this bar, regardless of what you open or how you open the applications, uh, this suggested app bar is there. There's no way to hide it that I've been able to find so far. Um, it's actually kind of cool, you know, as you're searching through, it helps you find some really neat apps that you can give a shot to. But, again, going back to the fact that we want a full screen experience, we want the ability to be able to hide that. Again, I think BlueStacks, they're really good about taking customers' advice and letting, you know, hearing out their customers. And so I'm sure they could give us the option to be able to hide that. Um, but all in all, uh, you know, here at Touch Me, we've really, really loved the progress, you know, from the idea all the way to where it's sitting at now. Uh, it's also, you know, it's extremely functional as it stands right now 
So we could just only imagine what it's going to be like when the final release candidate comes out. So we just wanted to give you a quick heads up. We're really, really happy so far with what we're seeing. Um, every single one of our touch devices that we've put this on, it's worked beautifully. Um, the response time and the speed and everything is just great. Uh, so we just wanted to give a heads up to you know the group and everybody out there letting, letting you guys know. Really awesome. You guys should give it a shot. All right? See you later.